Hello, my name is Brandon Puro, and I'm here with Ahmad Moore, Kai Allen, Logan Griffin, and we're here to talk about free will. I start off. I believe, as humans, we do have free will. Me, personally, I believe we don't have free will. I agree with Ahmad. I feel that people do not have free will. I think we do have free will. Would like to discuss why you think we don't? I feel we don't have free will because everything is predetermined. The reason that people have free will is because they can live with the consequences of knowing what's going to happen next. If you don't have the free will, like, be like, I can accept what's going to come next, then you never have true free will. So you believe in determinism? Yes. That's the one. No. Because think about it. Ready? You're given two choices, right? Like in the one book we read, or the one story we read about Thomas, whatever his last name is, Nigel. Nigel. Yeah. You're given two choices, a peach or a piece of cake. How does that determine your future after that? Of course, okay, you eat the, like, the peach. Mm. Okay, you eat, that's a piece of food. You eat the cake. Like, it won't determine or no consequences are going to come after that. It's like, just, some choices are just so little that free will does, is just there because you're just given that. Yeah, but option. is your extension of free will that any, I, my determination of free will is every consequence after that. So I'm not saying it has to be life changing to the fact that I eat this peach, I'm become Superman. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if I eat the peach, then something behind the peach will happen, regardless of what I feel. Say I eat the peach, right? I'm eating healthy. I eat the peach. I feel good about myself. Yeah. That's the consequence I faced when choosing to eat the peach. If I wanted to be healthy and I ate the piece of cake and I felt bad after that, that's the consequence. Now, is it... Am I willing to live with that said consequence? Or am I going to be overtaken by that consequence? I get you, but good. the consequences aren't predetermined. So therefore, it's free will because you don't know what's going to happen after it. It's just in your mind that you want to do it right then and there. So you have the free will to do whatever you want because you don't know what the consequence. Some things you do and then some things you don't. You don't but try but to wouldn't it be most things that we don't more than most things that we do know? Yeah, like most things that we don't know. So that's. Do you think so? You think whatever's gonna happen is inevitable and it's going to happen. Whatever, like How, however the outcome is. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Whatever's gonna happen, gonna happen. So you think whatever decision you make is gonna lead to whatever's gonna happen, no matter what. Yes. Yeah. So you think whatever path you take, like if you're so steered from that path, you're always gonna lead back to the original path. Yes. I feel like each person has a path to take. Each person, when they brought into this earth, will set down a road. Now, where that road will take you is going to end at the original point of how you feel. Everyone's going to be born into this world and going to die out this world. That path is already predetermined. You have no free will to live forever. It's what decisions will you make throughout your life that are going to put you back on that path. So you think whatever decisions you make don't matter because whatever outcome is already predetermined. So let's say you have two choices... It doesn't matter which choice you pick because the same consequence or response to that is going to happen no matter what. Yes. My, my belief is in the title of free will that every person we born into this world, every person will die out of this world. There's, there's no de- negating that. You can't survive forever. Immortality is not real. So in order to get to that point, the decisions you make in between are already on a predetermined path. It's just what life are you going to will to live Throughout that life. So you're just saying that no matter what we do, it's always going to lead to death no matter what. Yes. But it's yes. still free will to make those decisions on how you want to end your right. life either earlier or later in life. So that's free will. You mm-hmm. at least can control that part. Yes. But now, I believe you can control everything up until the point of death. You can control everything. You can't control anything up to the point of your birth. That's, that's You have no free will in your birth. I couldn't choose my parents. Y'all couldn't choose y'all parents. So then what you're saying is... So you, you do have free will the yeah, whole time. That's basically what you're saying. You're saying you have free will, but you don't have it from birth and death. I'm just saying... That, well, you said that does everyone have a path? I said yes. I never said my path would be to become Gandhi. I never said that. Yeah. I said that I believe we do have a path, and that path is towards death. That's what age is. I'm, I'm saying that free will is... Can you live with the consequences? Some people cannot live with the fact that death is inevitable. Therefore, they do not have free will throughout their life. It's my, my goal is that saying, whatever action I do, I can live with the consequences. 
Now here, I have a question for you, right? We could choose not to do this project out of free will. Yeah. But the consequences would be an F. So do we have free will not to this project? No, because technically if you well, I guess. pass, then we... Okay. But like, let's go back <laughs> to the peach and cake. What's going to happen? Like, think about it. You're going to so feel, like, feel down yourself, but could you live with the consequences, right? You have a piece of cake and yeah. a peach in front of you. Yeah. You're just living a normal day. Yeah. Could you live with the consequences of eating that cake? Yes. Could you live with the consequences of eating that peach? Yes. Could you live with the consequences of taking the F? No. You could. Then you don't have free Some will from this can. decision. Some you could, can. though. Some, Some people can, can, but that's not you. Let's say you're... That's not me, but let's say you're getting she, ready to fell out. Mm. Or let's say you're not, like, coming back or something. Yes. You can live with that consequence. You could. But us, as a group, cannot live with that consequence. So, therefore, we're not free will when See, it comes to this. now we're bringing morals into it, though, basically. We're not bringing morals because, into it. Because... Yes, you are. Yes, you are. What moral, what moral dilemma are you being put in of taking an F if you're just going to drop out and go to work? Being a good student. Yeah. Or being... That's not what we're debating. Like, we're debating free will, yeah. though. Not... Depending, we're not bringing morals into it. I mean, it. you want to bring morals, we could bring morals into it, but bring morals. no, I'm just saying by your free will, you can't afford to take that F. You can't afford to fail a class, and every teacher knows that, which is why we do the work. Yeah, but it's our choice to do the work and to not to do the work. It's our choice to come to college. We didn't have to come to college. Okay, so, so I think some people have to come to college. Free will. Let me ask you, Brandon. Yeah. When you came out of high school, yeah. what what path were your parents pushing you towards? A good ed- education after and football. There you go. Oh, mom, when you came out of high school, what path did your mom or dad put you on coming out of high school? Education. Logan, how about you? Yeah, it's the same thing. Education. Mom did the exact same thing. Higher education. Now, let's look at facts. Who invented Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg. He yeah. dropped out of Harvard. Yeah. Who invented Apple? Steve Jobs. He dropped out of, out of college. Who invented Microsoft? Bill Gates. He also dropped out. So if all our parents push us to a higher education when these billionaire people have dropped out of college and succeeded, does that negate mm-hmm. our free will? Because I know some kids, they get kicked out, kicked out the house when they don't go to higher education. It wasn't their free will to get kicked out the house? No, but it was their free will to not go. To, to education? School. Yeah. So they live with that consequence. Could you live with the consequences of your father kicking you out the house if you didn't go to higher education? Yes. Yeah, you could. Just, I would just follow... Yeah. Or free will either not go to a new job or just stay the way I am. You have the free will. Yeah. You have ready. You have the free will to get up off your behind, go find a job, or just sit there and take it. That's your free will. Absolutely. Your path is not determined right then and there. I won't say path is determined right then and there, but which path would be harder? Which path could you take the consequences of? You want to than- know the path that would be harder? Actually, is getting up off your behind trying to find a job. It's, so, it's much harder to find a job and get out of that state of hiatus mm-hmm. than staying as a, like, not a bum, but, like, staying, like, not doing anything. Yeah. It's a lot harder to get a job and do that stuff. Yeah, that's just a lot harder. That's yeah. why I don't negate people who do that. That's what I'm saying. But life is also a lot harder after that. And I couldn't live with the consequences of my life being hard after that. Think about how many people go into the workforce. See, a but that's year. your morals, though. No, it's not moral. It's factual. Think about how many people go into the workforce a year with a minimum wage job and they can't feed their families. Did you okay. want to take that consequence when you could go to a higher education, be put in a nice, I'd say, fifty k some job, coming out of college, and then you can provide for your families in the future? That's not necessarily our outcome, though. All right, let me, let me put it just for a second, right? Logan, what did your mom and dad do? My mom's a nurse and my dad's a doctor. Those both require higher, require higher education. Right. And you live, as we all said, pretty luxurious. Okay. Brandon, what's your parents do? My dad's a... What did you see? He's an electrician and... I'm trying to think of a... I don't know. That's fine. Sort of a, a electrician yeah. is fine. Electrician, you go to higher education. Yeah. You go to trade school. Yeah. And I say you guys look pretty comfortable. We've seen your house. It's nice. Mom, what's your family do? My mother is a computer engineer. That requires our education. My mom was a forensic scientist. But the, the computer engineering thing, she dropped out of college, mm-hmm. did computer engineering still, and then went back to college after her injury, which had to put her on um, disability. And she was, she was on disability leave from her little job. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, she went back to school over, over basically remote yeah. and got that extra higher education. So like, she never like completed college until after work. That's fine. 
I mean. See, but now that was free will because that was her choice to go back. Exactly. She didn't have to go back. She didn't have to go back, but. But I she did. She so did she has back. free will. It wasn't. If she didn't go back, she wasn't going to make any more money. If she didn't go back, she was never going to be the same and live the same lifestyle again. That's not true. So she had the free will to choose to go do that to better herself. But that's what education leads us to believe. That by the free will of us choosing higher education, we'll be put in a better position than other people who accept the consequences of working a normal minimum wage job. I'm not saying that no person has free will. I'm just saying that when a person is faced with a difficult decision, it's their free will to accept the consequences of what they choose. I don't know. You're basically talking about the trolley problem, too, then. I am. Because right then and there is a whole example of free will. Okay. Right. Ready? I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like the trolley problem eliminates free will. And that's just from my perspective. I think, you know how there's the Why first that? scenario yeah. and then the second scenario? Right. I feel like the first scenario is more moral of you, right? They're both moral. Yeah, but I feel like it's more moral. And it takes away your free will. The second one adds in free will. Like, the first one, I feel like. The first one, you have the option to kill one person or five people. Right? But what if you're not happy with the consequence of killing anyone? There's no way out of it. You're stuck in a situation where you have to kill someone. I think... So when you say it like that, then that means they're taking your free will by you having to make a decision, but it's your free will of which decision you're going to make. Mm-hmm. So it's still there. But ultimately, it's like birth and death at the same time. You're going to pick one of the two roads. All right, well, let's switch to... But then that's your choice. Let's switch to the Charlie problem scenario, man. Like the... The second one, one? Yeah, the second one where you're not the driver anymore. You're the person with the switch, the control. Like the lever. Yeah, and then you can... You that? have the free will to walk away from that mm-hmm. and let it choose its own path. Or you have the free will to either kill the one person or five yeah. people. Oh, right yeah, then and there, you're given free will. Now it's almost scenario three tonight. It's where you had to kill yourself. Nah, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, that's I feel true. like a morally wrong person with free will could live through that scenario. The how many, how many of you would be cool with just walking away from that lever? If you had the option, how would you be cool just walking from that lever and just like letting God choose and it'd be out of your hands? I mean, yeah, my free will is to walk away. I would yeah. do that because I mean, it's not my fault that the trolley has no brakes, so like I'm not in control of that. It's my free will to walk away. It is your free will, but like as you're walking from that lever and you hear either one person or five people getting run over, won't you feel some type of Moral, okay, yeah, like, morally, that's I'll morals, though. But we're talking about free will. Oh, yeah, we're talking about no morals. So, you're straight away so without you. morals, then you think you just ended up in that spot because your path was predetermined. So you're at that spot and you have to make that decision. Yeah, you're already you're already there. I don't know how anyone. So now, that spot. but you said whatever is going to happen is going to happen. So you're in that situation where you're killing one person or five people. So would you just close your eyes and let it happen? Because then whatever was going to happen is supposed to happen. Yeah, like you're saying, no matter what. Because no matter what, die. someone's supposed to die. So you yeah. just close so your eyes. So you just close your eyes. Flip the, and then the switch, the switch no just what? flips. You're just going to guess which way. Either consequence, I'm not cool with someone dying. So that's what I'm saying. My free will is taken away. I, even if I walk away from the, uh, from the, the, the lever, someone's going to die. Right. And I'm not cool with that but consequence. So, then you so had my to... free will is now taken away. Whatever decision I make is going to end up with someone dying. And I can't live with that consequence. So therefore, my free will is taken away. No matter if I'm morally wrong, morally right, I can't live with the fact that I walked away and let either one person or five people die. So therefore, my free will is taken away. Now, in the third scenario, where you could offer up yourself, them, or the other person, then I feel like you have a sense of free will. No matter if you're morally bad or morally good. Because it gives you a third option. Of you could step in front of the bullet and let yourself go, and I could with that consequence while saving six people, or you could go with the consequence of one or five people die. It's still your choice, though. It's your choice, though, but then I'm at the end, I'm living by Nagel's free will. I can live with the consequences at hand. I could live with the consequences of myself dying to save six people. Yeah, I couldn't. So then that's my choice, and that's free will. 
that's real for you. You can accept the I think the problem is you're bringing morals into it whether or not you have free will or not because you're thinking about all the consequences after. Free will is your decision in that moment. Uh, morals do have to tie into it, though. I just realized because morals is and the way you think will affect the decision you make. It goes deeper into depth of what you're talking about. Yeah, mm-hmm. so like you need to bring morals into it. If your morals are like shoddy, like say... I'm not making Brandon out to be a sponsor, but say Brandon's morals are shoddy, right? My morals are hard. Like my morals, are like I'm a good person. This Brandon's like I could live with one person dying to save six people, because that including himself would be six. Then in that moment, he lived with the consequences, so he had the free will to kill one person. I'm saying that if a person can live with the consequences, then they have free will. You know what he's saying? Because basically, yeah, given two choices, you had to think. About the consequences after and stuff like that. So morals has to tie into it. I mean, I guess when you put it that way, but I... I don't know. Yeah, it's just at the end of the day, can you live with the consequences of your decisions? If you can, then you have free will. If you can't, then you don't have free will. So then you're saying it depends on your morals whether you have free will or not. No, I'm saying depending if you can live with the consequences, it we well, yeah, actually then yes, it does depend on your morals if you can live. So then, you, would you say like then it's like fifty fifty? Half the population has free will and half doesn't. It depends on your morals. Depends on, it depends on if you can live with the consequences. Yeah, personally, now, yeah, it, it probably depends on the morals. Now, if your morals can make you live with the consequences, then you have free will. If your morals cannot let you live with the consequences, then you do not have free will. So since you cannot, your morals won't let you deal with the consequences. You think you have, you don't have free will, and you're past determined. But since, let's say me and Brandon can deal with it, and because we want to make our own choices, and that's how our morals are, then we do have free will. If yeah, that's kind of what Nagel's saying. If you can live with the consequences of each decision you make, then you do have free will. Now think about it this way, right? As football players. Our path to Delvile is predetermined. We have to keep a certain GPA. We have to do a certain amount of hours for classes. <clears throat> we have to practice certain times. Now. And we can't skip classes. Yeah, you can't skip classes. It's now, insane. if you miss a practice, you're like, damn, I don't feel well today. I'm feeling really sick. I don't want to go to practice. The consequence is you lose your starting spot on the field. Could you lose that consequence? But that's not predetermined. It's not necessarily. It is predetermined because you, say you're not necessarily gonna lose your starting spot. That's not determined. It is determined because you gotta think about it. Everyone in college is talented. Every football player was the guy at their school. Were you a good football player in high school? Yeah. Brandon, were you a good football player in high school? Yeah. Amos, how about you? Yeah. So was I. And now you bring a hundred kids who are that same person you were, who can do the same thing that you can. Who came here for the same reasons as you. Now, if you miss that day of practice. For example, Jalen Hurts and Tua. Okay. Tua. No, Jalen Hurts is starting, right? Um, he, that, that whole practice week leading up, Jalen missed the practice. He missed the practice. Tua came. That's the same predetermined okay. thing that will happen if we miss a practice. We're ready. Okay, now hold on. That was his free will and his decision That's what to I'm miss saying. the practice. It was either go to practice or miss it. It was not predetermined that something yeah. happened that he just missed. So now, it. what if he was like coughing up blood? Time out. Oh, yeah. He's That's sick. It's still his choice if he's going to go to practice or not. He's not on the deathbed. Hmm. It's his choice to go to practice or not to go, but he's choosing not to go because he doesn't feel good. Well, he knows the consequence. He knows it's the consequence. Okay. So it's still his choice not to go. Okay. So he still has free will. Sorry, let me change the scenario a little bit. Okay. Say, hmm. All right, so we have like three or five classes, right? Right. It's like 420, okay. Say you're in class, you're taking a test, right? You're running late. The teacher says, you have to finish this test in class. You cannot leave. So now you're late for practice and you lose. Say you're not going to start the first, the first half because the coach is a dickhead. Yeah. So you, say, say that happens, right? Was that free will for you to now miss a half of football because you had you had a more you had an obligation to uphold, or is that someone intruding on your free will? 
so many. So you have you're basically saying you have free will until you don't. Yeah, until you can't live with the consequences. Because in that moment, you could say, "F you, teacher, I'm leaving. Yeah. I'm going to practice." That's still your choice. But how many of us will do that? But it's still your choice, though. It doesn't matter if you're doing it or not. You it's don't have your free will choice. to do it because either way, you're gonna piss off. A person, and I guarantee, if a coach heard about us walking out of a class saying, F you teacher, I want to go to practice, do you think punishment would happen? Right. But okay, so then it was our choice to play football at college. We didn't have to play football at college. That was our free will and our choice to play football here, which then leads for us to have to deal with other things. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you're, so are we agreeing that we have free will up to a certain extent, and then once we have we have consequences to deal with then we don't everything i'm saying everything is a, a decision it was our decision to come here out of our own free will to play football right after that now we're on this path right so now we're walking down this path and now we're making decisions along the way of free will which to choose which not to choose or which consequences we can take in which consequences we can't take in so Along with choosing to play football for a college and our free will doing that, we lose free will or end up doing what we have to do to get on this path. Because either way, we're kind of fucked. No, you make a good point. Yeah. So it happens that our good friend, Barry Turner here, and, you know, he's also on the football team. Let's take your input, Barry. Do you, as a football player at Delaware Valley University, think we have free will? Yes. Yes? Then why? We just do. You just do. All right. Here, Barry, I got a question. You ready? You have single-handedly probably the best cornerback in the NCAA right now ahead of you in the depth chart. Is that not correct? You're pre in front of you. Yeah. Can you afford to miss a practice? No. Can you afford to miss a workout? No. Can you afford to miss anything football-related? No. I, I see some free will issues right there. Because now you don't have the choice. I do have a he, choice. Yeah, yeah, he, he has, I a, have choice. A, choice. He has a choice. He has a choice. It's just but his choice to follow the right path. It's about his wants now. If he wants to start over him and he wants to play over him, mm-hmm. then he has to go to practice and do all this. Yeah, stuff. but he has the free will to want that, right? He has a free will to want to start. Right. What's this barrier couldn't wake up the next day and say, I don't want this? All right, well, let's, let's say he does all that. It's not predetermined he's that he's start. going to start. You're saying just because he follows that path, he automatically gets the starting position. Right. No. No. It's but, just what you're mentioning the starting. Now, let's tie it back with that whole scenario to the beginning. Mm-hmm. When we said that no matter what path you take, always going to lead to the, the start. What if he follows the path of not going to practice and stuff, and God forbid, something happens to pre? He has to start because he's the only, like... Let's say he is the only option. He has to start. That wasn't predetermined because even if he followed the path of working out and all that, mm. he still wasn't able to start because Pre was still there. Mm. So think about that. It ties all the way back to the beginning. It does all the way to the beginning. Like, he's something on the pre path, right? But knowing college football, in that scenario, that would never happen. Things happen. Things happen yeah. in life. <clears throat> so you're telling me that. If we talk in about that college depth chart, Barry is the only corner left. No, I'm saying if it happened, you don't know it's going to happen. That's all I'm saying. So you have free will since you don't know things are going to happen. Yeah, but then even if you have free will, the consequences are what's hindering you from choosing that path. Are but it's still your choice. So it's still free will because it's still right. your choice. You're here, right? You're here. You chose to be here. That's a free will decision. You chose to be here because so in is college, free. you had a choice to select. Right. Okay. And from the input of parents and money and other factors, you were forced to come here. I was not forced to come no, here. I was not forced to come here either. Well, not forced to come here, but I'm saying that, like, it would negate you to that path. Well, let's think about it. In the high school, all my options were gone. It was either here or the military. Mm-hmm. It's not set in stone because I got injured here. It's not set in stone that I wasn't going to get injured in the military. Mm-hmm. So predetermined coming in. You know, I thought my path was, you know, to play and then leave. Mm-hmm. I'm still here. That wasn't predetermined. Okay. Nowhere in my path got knocked down and it's not going to be So let's say, let's say he did choose to go to the military and God forbid he got shot and killed. Mm-hmm. Would you have said that that was predetermined? 
And that was just his path? It was, would be a consequence of choosing the military. Which was his and choice. And he could live with that consequence. Me, on the other hand, I'm not a free will to the military. I can't live with the consequences of me being shot at and risking my life for death. I understand. Of course, consequences right. happen. That's the point of free will. And that's will. the point of free will. It's the kind of... All right, Brandon, ready? You, you had, say, the coach of Rutgers yeah. offered you a D1 scholarship. But he said he only give you half the money. And let's say Rutgers is obscurely priced. They're a $100,000 university, yeah. okay? So now you got to pay $50,000 out of pocket to go to this university. Could you live with the consequences of that? No. That's a lot of money. So you have no free will to choose Rutgers anymore, even though that is your, your top school for playing football, right? He does, though, because if he will. wanted to go there... take the student loans or I can go to a cheap yeah. school. That's my free will. No, I'm saying I do, agree with with you that, I do agree with you that the only path to come out of that... Actually, no. I was about to say the only path to come out of that is a diploma. But even then, that's things even, can happen yeah. to steer me off because I'm going to make another decision that's going to steer me off the path of graduating. So, therefore, the free will and the two choices or the choices that you are given is just going to steer you away from whatever imaginary path you think life is giving you. I'm not saying life gives you imaginary path. I'm saying life gives you two destinations that you have no choice of accepting or not. Okay. So, let's go back to the start when you said that there was a, a path predetermined, right? You said you, – you guys actually said, Kai, do you believe there's a predetermined path? Right. Yeah. I do. It's okay. Death. Okay. Well, yeah, but right. Like, well, okay. So I guess, yeah. In the end, it's always going to end to death. But it's your free will to either die now or die later. Actually, it's, no, it's, it's not. Because you can make multiple decisions right. to either die now or die later. Yeah. I'm saying it's the reason of free will coming is when you make a decision, inevitably something will happen after that decision. It doesn't matter what's happening. Life's going to keep going on. You're going to have a moment after that decision. Of something happening. In that moment of free will, can you live with said consequences? Now, going back to the college thing, if every college in America was free, how many of us would pick Delgado to go to? Not absolutely a not. single one of us. Not one of us. But how much money does Delgado give us that our tuitions are so cheap that it's worth going here? To be honest, my tuition isn't that cheap. I'm sorry. Because it depends. It depends on a lot of factors. Depends on a lot of factors. Well, your factors. So then, yeah. So then, it's still your free will and choice to come here. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess we're going in circles. So at the end of the argument, Brandon, do you believe in free will? Yes. Ahmad, do you believe in free will? No. Logan, do you believe in free will? Yes. Me myself, I do not believe there's free will. So it's two to two. I'm going to ask Barry if he believes in free will because he's been here for a little bit of conversation. We're After you listened that. to the majority of our discussion. Do you, do you believe there is free will? Yes. Well, you know what? In this podcast, free will takes the win and inevitably people have free will. So I am Kai Allen. I'm Logan Gribben. I'm Brandon Piro. I'm Amon Moore. And that's our podcast on free will. Thanks for listening.